would someone read the ethics case? I find them interesting. You know people have their minds made up about ethics already. They get it from the home environment, buddies they hang out with, church. Yeah, maybe so. I find the situations interesting because I might be in a similar one someday. Well, don't all the answers just say, see your ethics officer? No, a lot of times they present a more meaningful solution. Uh, solutions that the engineer will have control over. Interesting. I wonder if my thinking lines up with what the answers are. Probably most of the time. The way the solution is developed is not just a shot in the dark. The answer actually has references back to the code of ethics and reasoning behind the thinking is generally stated. Hmm. You know, I've been out of college for a little more than a year now and I've seen a few things happen that I wonder about. Like what? Well, you know Tony, how he comes around every once in a while with a set of plans? Yeah. And he just needs them stamped in a certain state? Seems a little odd. He's just needing a licensed engineer in a particular state to stamp the drawings. We have a lot of talented engineers here, and I understand that it's expensive and time consuming to get licensed in all the states. Mm -hmm. So they just kind of sh share the states we work in. Yeah, but the person sealing the drawings should really be the one that um, has actually been working on them because they're responsible for the design. They've been working on it since the beginning of the work. Well, you know, that would be best. But it's just not practical to be licensed in all the states. The design is still good and sound. It just needs someone to seal it. The Code of Ethics states that only those doing the actual engineering design or the overseer of the design should be sealing the drawings, taking responsibility for the work. Oh boy, quoting ethics on me here. Does it really say that directly? Hey guys, do you know who's licensed hey, in Kansas? Kansas? I think Bob is, isn't he? Oh, cool, thanks. I want to get a bike. My wife's not crazy about the idea, but maybe a cool old Shadow, or maybe one of the new V-Stars. Anyways, I have a pipe network system for industrial parts. We've been working on it. needs stamped and mailed today. Well, I think Bob is structural guy, so he doesn't really do pipe networks. Uh, engineers in Kansas are licensed as a PE. They don't have different disciplines. I'll describe the project to him. Aaron designed it, so it's good. He does a good job with water projects. So why doesn't Aaron just go ahead and seal the plans? He's not licensed in Kansas. Well, you know, I think Kansas has that quick process uh, so a person can get licensed for one project. Well, that'd be a good idea, but we don't. We just don't have time. Need it now. Oh, yeah, my, mo my wife used to ride with me some back in college. Maybe she would enjoy riding some again. Can I ride your bike sometime and see what it feels like? Yeah, sure. Great. See you guys later. That's not good. good. Hey Bob, we need you to stamp the Kansas Pipe Network project immediately. I'm in Wisconsin talking to clients. We have to do this today. Is your stamp in your desk? Well, yeah. Can we stamp, your, stamp and seal your drawings and sign for you since you're out of town? I haven't done that before. It just doesn't feel right. I know. I'm sorry about that. But Aaron did a great job on the design again. You stamped lots of his work. We need a stamp by a Kansas PE. What's the rush? Well, if we don't get it out today, we'll have another month's delay. So we'll stamp it and sign it for you. We'll keep a copy so you can review it when you get back. Thanks a lot, Bob. Gotta go. Surely it'll be fine.